Hello everyone, uh, I wanted to make a little video about Lodify. So Lodify, it's a, a free LOD system for Blender 2.8 or above that I created uh, for Scatter, basically. We needed a way to kind of optimize the viewport. So before Lodify, it was Proxify, which was a proxy system. And now it's basically the same thing, but with LODs. So it's still the same basic functionality, but now it's it's also doing LODs, which is quite nice. So it's available for free inside the DevTalk. You can get it here on GitHub. Uh, and it just installed like any other add-on. Uh, I just want to make it quick about Scatter. So if you're going to uh, Tutorial, Optimization, you will see that there's a part about LODs and proxies, which is basically a little manual uh, about uh, Lodify. So I ship Lodify with Scatter, of course, but it's also available for free on the DevTalk. So let's jump in. Uh, Lodify main uh, principle is kind of simple. So in Blender, each object have a mesh data. And this mesh data, you, you can change it. So this mesh data of the cube, it's I named it just cube. Which you can rename it, uh, mesh cube. And let's say that the, the monkey, I want to swap the mesh data to the cube. Well, I just have to select the mesh cube. And here we go. I just swap the mesh data. And that what, that's what basically Lodify is doing. It's exchanging the mesh data. So we, you will find Lodify inside the, the mesh properties. And it's a new panel here, level of detail. So how to use it? Well, it's quite simple. You just enable it. And then you add uh, a number or, or level of detail you want to work with. So let's say here I, I, I'm working with a, a high poly trees, a low poly tree that has been decimated a little one. And a proxies, a custom proxies uh, I created in Houdini. So how to use it? Well, I, I select one of the three mesh. I enable the le level of detail and I, I want three level of detail so I will add one, two, three slots. And after that I just have to assign the slot to a mesh. One it, once it's done you can either delete or even better store the, the, the mesh you will not use anymore inside a, a collection that you can hide because you won't need them anymore. There you go. So when you, you created and assigned the slots, you just have to tell Blender or Lodify uh, which level of detail you want to see either in the viewport, in the rendered view, or in the final render. So I want to see, for example, the, the high poly tree in rendered view and in render, and I want to see the proxy only in the viewport. So as you can see, we have our tree right here, and I can swap the data accordingly. All right. So now I will enter in rendered view. Here we go, cycles, and now I see the full resolution three high mesh data. If I go back inside the viewport, I will see the proxy. So the, the, the mesh data has been exchanged. Um, you can also, so, so here a few trees and uh, assets already using Lodify. So again, I ju you just have to either manually enable them or there's, uh, there is a, a little option right here to batch change or enable loads so for example here I want to enable the loads of the whole scene now I, I see the proxies and for example because each trees have a proxy and a high mesh 
that is set on rendered view and render. If I do a quick render in cycles, I will see the full geometry, as you can see. So inside scatter, I integrated Lodify within the workflow. So for example, I will scatter a little forest, let's say those two trees with, uh, let's let the preset load for a bit, come on. Here we go. Yeah, Blender's a bit slow at loading images. So I will choose, for example, uh, a wood presets with those trees. Click on scatter. Have a, a little scattered trees here. We'll put a little more trees here. There we go. No, a little less. And then uh, here, some lower vegetation with, I don't know, some... Uh, some preset here for plants. Mm, a bit more plants, maybe. On them a little lower. A bit more. Here we go. So inside scatter, as I said, there will be a level of detail panel right here. And what you can do is just enable or disable the selected layers. So if I click on enable the LODs, uh, disable the LODs, I will see the full uh, geometry. Of course, it will slow you down because there's a lot of polygon right here. So as you can see, it's quite leggy. It's extremely leggy in my computer. And if I enable the LOD, it's smooth again. Okay. And of course, it will change. If I move the camera, here we go, and I do a little render, I will see the, the full resolu resolution, of course. It's also important to know that all biomes that come shipped with Scatter are also uh, compatible with the LOD system. So let's open the biome manager and let's append, uh, for example, this biome. If I select every particle system and I go inside level of detail, you will see that, that there's uh, if I enable also them, you will see that there's a high level of detail, there's a low level of detail, and there's a high level of detail. And there's a, a proxy level of detail, sorry. So high, low, and proxy just for the viewport. And of course, if I go inside rendered view, I will see the high resolution. if I go back inside solid view, I will see the proxy. So that's important to know. Our scatter pre-packed biomes are compatible with Lodify. Note that there's also a button here to enable Lodify by default. So if I click on this button and let's say I will append those flowers, well, they will come automatically with Lodify enabled by default. So let's let's go inside rendered view and you will see again the full resolution model. Well, uh, Lodify is also compatible with animation. So I have um, a really high resolu resolution model right here and uh, it's super laggy it's like one or four fps you can't work with this uh, if you are an, an anim animator for example and ideally uh, you want to decimate the model only inside the viewport so we can try huh? let's add uh, decimate modifier 
only within the viewports we can see a bit more maybe no not planar collapse thank you Here we go. So supposedly this is um, Blender is supposed to optimize the viewport with this modifier, but in fact it's not. It's even worse performance than before because on each frames uh, Blender is always recalculating the decimate modifier. So Blender basically instead of just uh, creating a mesh, a new mesh data, he is always calculating this modifier. So this technique won't work. You will need to use Lodify if you want to optimize your animation, basically. Okay, so let's optimize this model right here with Lodify. So we have here four level of detail. The original level of detail. The first one decimated, a bit more decimated, and then here a totally, uh, a really low poly one. So it's quite easy, you select the model, you go inside the mesh panel, enable level of detail, we have one, two, three, four level of detail, so let's add four level of detail slots. And we can choose a level of detail manually by using the pointer. But there's actually a, an even faster method here we can search for LODs. So this mesh name is Jude slash Jude and the suffix is slash LOD. So Scott, um, Lodify told us that we have four levels of detail. Click on OK and it's it's got uh, set up automatically. So now let's check out this warning this working cycle and it's smooth again and of course I can change it change level of detail on the fly